So let's see how I query the WindGoo archive and I have a friend which is going to be competing at an event in Sopot, Poland in August. So let's go to the archive. And again the archive shows you the same spots. Let's just select everything here. And sorry, forget about the waves. The reason I I don't query the waves is not everyone had, not everywhere you have a forecast for that. And we said Sopot in Poland, and I want to query the typical weather there, so let's go to last year's forecasts or archive and August so let's say 1st of August till the 1st of September again 2015 last year and bang I'm there so just a quick look at the forecast it's actually the same data for each day I have the date the times for wind speed the times for wind direction again if I hover over the arrow I can get not now but I can get the wind direction, the temperatures, the rain, precipitation, and cloud cover. And uh, let's have a look here. Sorry. So you can see there are like one day of 30 knots. And Actually, I think this is easterly, and let's see what we had at 2014. First of all, it seems like we had more rain, and no easterly at all, and this time we had two or three days of more than uh, 30 knots so it changes year to year and if we want to create reliable statistics we would want to use more than one year as I will show you on the next screencast